Dear Goinkans, today our topic is entering data in MS Excel 2010. To enter data in a worksheet, what we need to uh, do is we need an open workbook. So here as you all can see on the screen, I have already opened a workbook and by default sheet 1 is the active worksheet. So let's enter the data. Before entering the data, I would like to tell you that three type of data can be entered in MS Excel worksheet. It can be number, it can be text, and it can be formula. Formula is nothing. It's a just a mathematical equation which involves values, operators, and cell address for performing specific calculations on a worksheet. And even for formula, we can choose a range as well. So let's begin. So today, let's make a mark sheets mark sheet. So I'll just select a cell. Right now, my present active cell is C1. I'll write mark sheet of unit 1 now as you all can see my cells are small and my data is large so for this purpose what I'll do is I'll select two or three cells and then in the alignment tab we have a option merge and center I'll click on it and my data will be visible to all of you. This merge and center allows you to join the selected number of cells to make it a one big large cell as we have done. Now we'll just write the roll number. Next I want the name of the student. I want now marks in English then Urdu, then we'll write AVS, next we can write anything, say total. To move forward, upwards, to move a column right or a left or up or down, we can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. So they can be used to move up, down, right, left. Now, again it's roll number, I'll write 1, 2, 3, so while I'm writing the number, say I have a huge number of students in my class, I don't need to write one by one each. What we can do is we can select the first three and then when the arrow, as you all can see, it is a greater plus sign. When it will turn into this, the cursor will turn into this plus. So we can just right click and drag it as long as we want and we'll get our serials. As you all can see now we'll write names first one John second one Ajaz third one Nidha so we'll be I'm able to write the data in numbers in text as well so we'll write the marks say 67 54 85 against each subject in Urdu 56 58 75 and then in EVS let it be 61, 23, 22 and we can even write here percentage. So this is the simple way of entering data into an excel sheet. Try to make a sheet by yourself and enter any type of data into that. Good luck. Take care.